Yeah, I'm going to get on y'all here for a quick second here, man. You know, um, it's been a lot of conversation on my page about certain things, and I want to, you know, clear up a couple things here as well. So I want to start. There is a documentary I've been telling people about for years now called The Century of the Self. It's four hours long. The best way to watch it is to take it in an hour at a time. The first hour is really strong. It gives you everything. The final three hours just brings everything home. But what you need to understand about the century of the self is Edward Ber 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 Bernays. Y'all, some of y'all want to talk about the Council of Former Relations. Y'all want to talk about the Bilderbergs. Y'all want to talk about the Illuminati. And y'all don't know shit. I'm being 100 with you. You really don't know what you're talking about. Be, be, because if you did, you would understand how they're controlling society through pushing selfishness. See, you know, again, I've been talking about this documentary for years. Y'all won't watch it because it's four hours long, but you want to jump on social media and debate and share your opinion. And that's part of selfishness. You want to talk, but you don't want to listen. You want to be heard, but you don't want to hear nobody else. That's selfishness. And Edward Bernays, for those of you who have not watched that documentary, um, was Sigmund Freud's nephew. So he hung with his uncle. His uncle put him up on game on the human mind, on psychology. And he went and took that and became a business consultant and started selling to companies that the way you get people to continue to buy your product is to push selfishness, target people's egos, target people's selfishness, push selfishness. And in, in, in other words, we became a society of people who care more about self than other. And that simple idea is what allows them to control society. You know why you won't wear a mask and you won't social distance? Because you don't want to. You selfish mother... Right? That's, that's what it is. You're a selfish mother... See, I'll get shut down for saying the words here, but you know what I'm saying. That's the reality. You selfish mother... Y'all the reason we have a pandemic out of control in America. This is why y'all won't listen when people are talking to you about simple concepts because, you know, again, you're a selfish mother... You know, and, and that's the reality. You don't care how this might affect somebody else. You selfish mother. You don't care about anything but yourself. That's why you see so many videos from, from people who weren't taking it seriously, caught the shit, almost died. Now they're making videos talking about, hey, y'all, this thing is serious. Well, duh, we told y'all it was serious, but nobody cares until it happens to them. You selfish mother. That's what, that's, that's what y'all are. And this is, again, this breaks down in so many ways. There's so many families that aren't as strong as they could be because so many of y'all are selfish. You don't do nothing for your family, but the minute you need something, the minute you want something, you want to talk bad about your family because your family ain't coming through for you, even though you ain't never came through for them. These things happen in business. These things happen in so many areas of our lives. And again, it's because y'all are selfish. Now, in, in your defense, you've been manipulated into being a selfish person. And that's where the bigger forces, the social engineers come into play. How they have manipulated you through television, through ads, through constantly making it seem like you need to be about yourself. And, and now you're not thinking about your brother, your sister. You, you're not thinking about how we can really build a better world because your focus is you. Now, I know we can't uh, help somebody else from drowning if we're drowning ourselves. I get that. So there is some nuance here. Yeah, sometimes you got to get yourself on your feet in order to help somebody else. But that's not even the motivation that most of y'all have. You're not getting on your feet to help nobody else. You're getting on your feet for yourself. And when you get on your feet, you're not reaching back. You're not look, 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 looking to help no, nobody. You're looking to get even more for yourself. 
And all this does is it empowers the rich, the ones who already are making all the money off of all the moves. They're making even more and more and more because you're not concerned with them either. Just yourself. Look, go pull up Century Yourself. Excellent documentary because you might not want to hear it coming from me. Maybe you'll listen to Adam Curtis. Thanks for watching.